Hey there, so I am uh, now in Shanghai, China, which is not where I should be right now. I had a uh, layover here um, for uh, two hours. It was supposed to be a two-hour layover, a uh, flight from Delhi to Shanghai, and then a flight from Shanghai to Los Angeles. And uh, my flight from Delhi to Shanghai was delayed, um, and I missed my second flight by 10 minutes or so, um, along with five other people who also were supposed to be on that flight. Um, and uh, the next flight they had is not until the next day. Um, it's, a, it's a cheapo airline. I got a good deal on this flight, but now I'm sort of paying for it because you'd think they could have come up with some other flight yeah, some other time during the day. So, uh, um, but fortunately, they set me up in this really awesome hotel room. It was a, uh, a fight to get it, though, um, because they wanted to put two people in a room. So there were six of us. One of the guy, uh, guys was a doctor, and he, he was in business class, and um, he managed to get another flight. So then there was five of us. They shuttled us over here to the hotel, and, uh, and then they're telling us that they're going to put two people you know, who don't know each other into a room together. And we were all completely adamant. You know, for one thing, we're all sleep deprived. I, I had, my flight was supposed to leave at 3.30 in the morning. It didn't leave until uh, close to 5. Um, and uh, so we don't want to be in a hotel room with someone we don't know. Uh, on you know wacky sleep schedules, etc. Plus, hey, we just want you know a, a room to ourselves. It's nice. Um, so uh, this uh, pretty big argument ensued because the hotel um, had talked to the airlines and supposedly there was nothing they could do about it. And and uh, yeah, and I uh, I ended up being the guy talking to someone on the phone, and they were adamant that's our policy, the the airlines. And uh, um, but two of the people were brother and sister. So they, that's why they didn't want a room. But finally, uh, they said, you know what, we'll just share a room. And then that way, uh, they only had to get one more room to accommodate the other four, the other three people. Um, uh, and that way, they could all have separate rooms, and, uh, and then uh, the brother and sister would share. So anyway, um, it all worked out. We got uh, our own separate rooms, and uh, it's pretty sweet. Nice uh, cushy beds there. I got uh, uh, my computer set up to get on the internet. Um, looking outside, not much to, not anything too interesting to see. It's right near the airport, um, or a little ways away, but it's nowhere near downtown. It's um, 4.30 in the afternoon, um, so it's too late to try to go see something. It would have been awesome to have seen some uh, temple, something with some historical value. Um, but uh, our flight will be next uh, uh, tomorrow morning, or it's one in the afternoon, but we'll have to catch a shuttle at nine in the morning. So no time to go see anything in Shanghai, plus the fact I don't have any yuan on me, and I don't feel like making the ATM withdrawal. So um, there's a mall across the uh, street there. So that's going to be my uh, tourist attraction for my visit to Shanghai, is uh, go check out a mall. Um, but at least I get to add one more country to the list, so that makes 21. Here's the... Uh, Bathroom, pretty sweet bathroom. Just took a nice hot shower. So I'm just going to soak up the luxury for the evening. And uh, then I'll be back on my normal schedule tomorrow. I'm catching the same, the same flight that I would have caught today at the same time. And then I'm on the same flight to Edmonton that I would have caught. So I'll get to Jasper uh, after taking a Greyhound bus ride um, at 1 in the morning, just a day delayed. So... Uh, fortunately, I had two days uh, to spare in Jasper before work starts, so um, it's not going to throw things off too much. So at least uh, I got to see a little something of Shanghai. Um, I'll have to come back sometime. All right, take care.